There are more developments coming to light about an incident at a high school playoff game that many are calling racist. The Escondido Union High School District is taking a stand later today. Also, a Coronado High School graduate admits that he's the one who brought and gave out those tortillas, but says it was not an act of racism. New developments here. News 8's Nevin, Evan Narani is joining us live in Coronado with the very latest. Good morning, Evan. Good morning. That's right. New developments now on day five. This is five days after this initial incident took place on Juneteenth. And uh, now the man responsible for bringing four separate packs of tortillas uh, to that basketball game has come forward. He says he is half Mexican, that he never intended for this to be a racist event. He did an interview with the Coronado Times. That's where we're getting a lot of this information from, where he says that uh, he went to UC Santa Barbara and that this was a tradition. Uh, at the university that he went to uh, to throw tortillas onto the field. And uh, while he says this and has come forward now four days, five days after the actual incident took place, there are many coaches around the San Diego area who aren't buying it. At the beginning, a lot of people were saying that, you know, racial stuff doesn't happen in San Diego County. Um, and since then, we've had two or three instances. Now, that man who came forward with dis uh, buying and distributing those tortillas, his name is Luke Cerna. He's a Coronado High alum from the class of 1999. Now, Cerna is half Mexican. He went to UC Santa Barbara, where throwing tortillas has been done before to celebrate victories of teams. He said he would have done it regardless of the racial makeup of the opposing team and didn't know that Orange Glen was a predominantly Latino team. After the game, he was contacted by police and was told that he could be charged with, quote, inciting a riot. That call was the first time that he discovered that there were talks of it being racially motivated. He says he understands how it looks that way now, but never instructed any of those cheerleaders or players to throw the tortillas directly at the opposing team. He also says he's friends with the now fired coach of the basketball team who told him not to come forward. He says that the Coronado Union High School District or Union District is not on the side of that coach and that they quote wanted to nail it on someone in that uh, interview with the Coronado Times. Regardless of all of this, there will be a meeting today with the uh, Escondido Union High School District where they're expected to denounce racism and also talk about the equity and safety of the people who are uh, part of these teams and who go to these schools to keep them safe. So still more developments from this that is expected to take place at 545 today. And we right now are outside of the Coronado Unified School District. We'll keep you updated on all the latest developments of this. Stella, Netta, back to you.